Hello, welcome to Fridge Cam. We are Sorted Food. Now, last time we did one of these, it went a bit like this. This is cotton, carrot, and blue. And the result was this. Yeah! Oh, we've got another new subscriber! <laughs> one more subscriber <laughs> and one more chance to see if we can reach somebody else. One of two trained chefs and one of three normal guys will be picked at random to work together to create an attention-grabbing, head-turning dish. There will be prerequisites. Time limits. One minute remaining. Mystery ingredients, all tied together by a shameless internet-y challenge. But who will it be today? Pick a normal. OK. I'm nervous. Me! Oh, no. oh both of these are gutted. Look Jamie, <laughs> pick whichever chef you'd like. <laughs> well, you did one with him last time for Stranger Things, so I think so you should just... it's only fair that... Well, I feel like a bit like a... That looks jack like it's longer. That's had. longer than Ben. That's definitely a James! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you should be happier. I'm really happy. <laughs> next, the boys pick a meal time. And next, their meal type. Dinner. Dinner. That suits us. That does suit us. Excellent. Is there a steak option? Meal type. Sweet. So we're making dessert. 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 We can do dessert. We can do dessert. We're both savoury men. I know we are. We can do like a sweet steak. Yeah. Okay, James, we're going to have to step, step up, up to the, the plate. plate. <laughs> Hashtag celeb date night. Your task is to create a one course dish for a celebrity couple of your choice for their special date night. Do some research on their obscure food obsessions, potential aphrodisiacs and allergies so that you can create the absolute perfect meal for their date. Yep. Your aim is to get them to notice your dish on social media so make sure you do a bit of digging in order to give yourselves the best chance of an acknowledgement e.g. make sure they're on social media. I have an idea. I have an idea as well. Okay. Is it Chrissy Teigen and John Legend? No. Oh, well then you're wrong. Oh. The two Jays will now peruse the world famous sorted food larder, renowned for its mystical and undiscovered ingredients. John Legend and yeah. Chrissy Teigen. Yeah. That was your idea. I think so. Some of go. her favourite foods ice cream sandwiches cold hot chocolate, crepes and macarons. What about this? A pizza is whatever you want it to be. So what if we made a sweet pizza? A sweet pizza. We could do that. Sweet we could do that. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Should we do some cocktails to go with it like she does? He counts pasta and pizza as his favourite foods. Pizza! So if we could put some, like, legendary stuff on there. So yeah. sweet pizza and yeah. cocktail. Sweet pizza, cocktail, yes. All right. Chocolate chips. Yes. Obviously. Marshmallows. Marshmallows, obviously. obviously. Popping candy. Ready? Is that the one that's half eaten? Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Romantic. Date night. You have one hour starting from now. While Jamie is drawing a pizza, um, I'm going to make our dough don't really have time to make a full pizza dough, so we're going to make a flatbread um, and add some sugar to it and some cocoa powder to make it kind of a little bit sweet already. This is our pizza and it's going to have toppings, which are sweet. Now we've looked it up, they both really, really love a vodka soda. Vodka, soda, ice. Sweet pizza, cocktail, date night, Chrissy Teigen, John Legend. Job done. We need to make a meringue. I had a thought. Instead of mango, which is a bit pedestrian, mm -hmm. let's do beetroot. It's a date night. Have we got any passion fruit? Oh my god, I think I saw a passion fruit there. Yes. Aubergine. <sighs> I mean, date night. I've never had sweet aubergine, but I see where you're going with it. Yeah, because yeah. Of the emoji. Because the emoji is... Woo! Yeah, it's a date. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that is a good looking aubergine as well, isn't it? That is, that is, that is, the, that emoji. is the exact emoji. Whoop! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> you walked straight into my aubergine. Aubergine went in my throat. Um, so you want me to make a meringue? Yeah, I reckon we can pipe it on at the end. 
Are you going to give Jamie more jobs than just meringue? Because if he has the time, he will take 50 minutes to make a meringue. He's making the cocktails as well. I had a crazy idea to put beetroot on the pizza because beetroot and chocolate go really well. So I have cut up some beetroot, quite small. That's going to go on a tray, a little bit of oil, a little bit of sugar, and we're just going to roast it off. Mike, if you had a double date, who would you double date with? Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. Yeah, same here. They're the dream couple, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. They've got bats. They just take the mickey out of each other, constantly. Jay, what are your thoughts on the cocktail? They both love a vodka soda. John Legend also likes a Moscow Mule, so I'm thinking maybe we could take something down that line. Got to make it romantic. If I get one cocktail ready, and we can taste it and check that we're happy with it. Yeah. And then I'll make the other two just before we serve up. Right, for our cocktail, I'm just going to fill a tiny little highball glass up with ice, and then it's vodka, cream soda for some sweetness, then passion fruit spooned in, muddled, and then we're going to finish it off with a touch of basil to savoury it up a little bit. Try that, what do you reckon? You know what I mean? Because it's got the sweetness of the cream soda rather than just normal soda water. I've made our pizza dough and I've rolled it out in a mixture of cocoa powder, sugar and flour. So what I'm going to do now is melt some butter in a flat frying pan and just fry it off on both sides. Oh, yes! 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 Pizza space. Okay, pizza space. I'm not going to have a sandwich. You have 21 minutes remaining. You can check on our beetroot if you want. That's not cooking fast enough. Get it in. Get it in where? Get it in the oven. Go in the, in the oven. oven, yeah. We found our pressure point, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little bit worried about the beetroot. Our beetroot is not cooking fast enough in the oven. This beetroot is cooked. It's obviously cooking faster in the liquid, the sugar syrup, so I'm just going to add all of this in. Now I'm going to chuck it into a small food processor along with some double cream and some sugar to sweeten it up, make it a little bit more creamy. We're going to blitz it up and that's going to form a beautiful ruby red sauce. 13 minutes remaining. Right, Swiss meringue going into our piping bag to be piped onto the pizza and then blowtorched for caramelised perfection. So this is now sweetened cream cheese going on. Mm -hmm. You going? Yeah. What do you want me to do? I was just going to swirl a little bit. This is your five minute warning. I need to make the cocktails, James. Oh, can I have the ice, please? You haven't made the cocktails? I haven't made the cocktails. I thought they were in, in hand. They were in hand. Two minutes remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, boys. Well played. That is a good effort. Dear Chrissy and John, here is our beautiful sweet pizza that I know you've been craving. And we've served it with your favourite cocktail that you make at home, a vodka and soda, but we've added a twist. Passion fruit. When presented with this challenge, we thought, we're just ordinary people. We don't know where to go. But then it came to us and we realised that all of us loves all of you. You got married in Lake Como, Italy, so we thought, pizza, let's get it lifted. Once you take a hit of this, you won't ever want to quit. We hope you both score. Because, like you, we are also perfect relationship goals. You're working out. Anyway, we mentioned the idea of a date night and love to Ben, and he ran a million miles away. So it's just the four of us. I'll try a cocktail. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I think there's a pip in mine. There's a pip in mine. Oh, when you get to it, it's delicious. 
Look at Let's go, let's go, let's go. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm. That's really nice. Mm. That beetroot like adds more earthy. This, that earthy savouriness that you need to not make it feel like you've immediately developed diabetes. And the cocktail pairs with it. It's light mm. and refreshing. You should have some cocktail with it. I really like that. Yeah. That's not even confusing in a bad way. That's no, that's confusing because it's it's. I, I think that's stunning. Work. I'm going to put it out there. I would say that would be better, even better with a proper pizza base. Like if we had time to make a proper yeah. pizza mm -hmm. base, that, yeah, would, but this that is would be a almost proper good. pancake ish, which is why it's nice and it's not overbearing and it's not sweet. Also, I think the popping candy gives you that fizz that you want on a date night. Oh, it's spark. That's my idea. Though. I feel like in this uh, in this video, you guys have got closer. Yeah, I think we worked well yeah. together. I think we, we shared the work. Yeah, and I think it could be the start of something beautiful. Mm. I think that's outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you reckon? Like actually, not just that tastes delicious because it's chocolate and meringue. Like it actually oh. tastes of loads of different things. Maybe you're going to be one of Chrissy Teigen's midwives when she gives birth in a few months' time. If you are, just as you catch the baby and give it to her, why don't you remind her to have a look at this video? If you're competing on Lip Sync Battle, then Lip Sync this. If you're Ryan Gosling, then you're in John Legend's band because of that thing on La La Land. If you are John Legend, tell Chrissy about this. And if you're Chrissy Teigen, tell John about this. <laughs> Love burns. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Seriously though, we're not going to get the results without your help, so get on social and check. Do you reckon we can do it again? We've done the last two. Again. Can we get three? Make a hat trick, come on! Even if we don't know, we're going to be back on Wednesday with another mystery night out. This time it's Jamie's turn. He's in charge. I nearly forgot. No, don't forget about this because it's Sunday and I want everyone to have a really good week. Okay. So can I tell you my dad joke? Fire away. Three girls named Marie, Alexis and Taylor were driving through the country when all of a sudden their car stalls. Marie remembers seeing a farm a little way back, so her and Alexis walk to the farm leaving Taylor guarding the car. When Marie and Alexis get to the farm, they tell the farmer what happened. The farmer raises a gun to their head and tells them to get a fruit or a vegetable or whatever, just get something from the garden. Marie grabs a turnip and Alexis grabs a single grape. Just as they come back into the farmer's house, Taylor walks in. He tells Taylor to do the same as they just did and Taylor heads off towards the garden. While she's out in the garden, the farmer tells Marie and Alexis to shove whatever they got from the garden up their bottoms. And whoever laughs, dies. Marie laughs first, so the farmer shoots her. Then Alexis laughs, What's laughs happening? and she gets killed too. So they're floating out of their bodies, and Alexis asks Marie why she died. Marie said that the thought of sticking a turnip up her bum was just too funny. Marie then asked Alexis why she laughed, and Alexis said, well, I saw Taylor coming around the corner with a pineapple. <laughs> so, I thought dad jokes were ones you were supposed to tell to your kids. I can't imagine you sharing that with either of yours. <laughs> hey, make sure you come back on Wednesday. It's my mystery night, which can oh. only be full of more longs. I can promise you it'll be sure. better than Barry's. Fine. <laughs>